Did you know that the Tokyo Imperial Palace at a certain point in history was worth more than the entire U.S. state of California? You've heard that right. Back in 1989, multiple economic bubbles had inflated prices in Japan to impossible heights. The area on which the Imperial Palace stood, the Ginza District bordering the Chiyoda District, was valued at $1.5 million per square meter for office space, which was nearly 350 times as much as the equivalent space in Manhattan. Considering that the area of the palace is 1.2 square kilometers, excluding the garden, the estimated value was around $1.8 trillion. The entire GDP of Japan in 1989 was just $3 trillion, while the GDP of California in the same year is estimated at $1.7 trillion. Now that's what I call imperial grandeur. Did you know that the Leaning Tower of Pisa managed to survive four major earthquakes with absolutely no damage? The 58-meter tall tower which was completed in 1372, leans at a 5-degree angle that leads to an offset of over 5 meters at the top. This was due to soft ground which could not properly support the structure's weight. Paradoxically it was precisely this soft soil that saved it from destruction. The researchers believe that, for this very reason, the tower does not resonate with earthquake vibrations, which are not transmitted to the building, and this allows the tower to resist without damage. The Leaning Tower of Pisa, a marvel of persistence, resilience, and a testament to the power of engineering. Did you know that the sky bridge connecting the Petronas Twin Towers is not fully attached to them? This is the highest two-story bridge in the world situated at 170 meters from the ground. However, while many believe this bridge is solidly bolted on both sides, it was actually slid into the twin buildings. This was done to avoid damage when the towers are swayed by strong winds. During a heavy storm the bridge literally slides in and out between the two towers, which in turn, provides additional structural support to the buildings. The complex was designed in 1993 to resemble Islamic motifs, reflecting Malaysian culture by the American Cesar Pelli. It was built by two different companies, the West Tower by the Japanese Hazama Corporation, and the East Tower by the South Korean Samsung. Quite an example of Malaysian globalization, did you know that the Karnak Temple was built through the guidance of more than 30 pharaohs? Erected in the homonymous Egyptian city, this incredible wonder took almost 2,000 years to build, becoming the largest religious site in the world, with an area of 1.5 square kilometers. It's going to take you hours just to walk along the perimeter. Believed to be the place where all creation began, its magnificence is dedicated to the three gods, Amun, Mut, and Khonsu. More than 8,000 servants were employed in the temple to serve them, and more than 5,000 statues were built in their honor. The site is hosting some of the most amazing areas ever constructed, and among them it is impossible not to mention the Great Hypostyle Hall. This hall of 134 massive columns is one of the most impressive places in all of Egypt with its area of 54,000 square feet, capable of hosting the entire Notre Dame Cathedral comfortably. To discover all its secrets an entire lifetime will not be enough. Did you know that the Prambanan Temple consists of a total of 240 buildings? Constructed in the 9th century on the island of Java over the span of 200 years, this Indonesian wonder is the largest Hindu temple complex in the world. The buildings are extremely variable in size, with the biggest being the Shiva Temple, measuring 47 meters high and 34 wide, while the smallest were simple shrines with an area of just few square meters. Sadly this complex was prey of several disasters such earthquakes and volcanic eruptions. Multiple smaller buildings today have been irreversibly damaged. Also I did say there are 240 buildings in Prambanan, but if we include the constructions of the nearby temple complexes of Sewu, Bubra and Lumbung, we reach the staggering amount of 500 temples. It's going to take you a while to visit them all. Did you know that the Rialto Bridge you see today in Venice is actually the sixth one built in the same place? Constructed to connect Venice with Rialto, the primary financial center of the main city, it was originally created in the year 1173, simply by placing boats one next to the other. It was later replaced with a wooden bridge in 1178, and it was called Coin Bridge, due to its close proximity to the state mint. Between arsons and popular revolts, the bridge was destroyed and reconstructed four times during the centuries, until the last one, in the year 1524. The bridge was finally rebuilt in stone in 1591, taking on the appearance and name we all know. Today it is visited by 14 million tourists every year. Now that is resilience.